This game is amazing, it's silly, and it's free. It's uh, it's called Crustacean Nations because get this, you build a sandcastle nation for crust crustaceans, which it's uh, it does exactly what it sounds like it does. But the way it does it, well, I guess that's the fun part, right? You you've got your main central sandcastle, and out of these sandcastles come well. Little crabby boys, and they are your warriors. And see, this this is the builder guy. He he comes out of the main sand castle and he builds the uh, the other ones. Now what we gotta do is with all of our crabs that we're getting, we gotta acquire one of the two resources. There is sand and there's shells, and they allow you to build your buildings, which spawn in more crabs. So it's kind of like it plays a little bit like Empires of the Undergrowth meets Command and Conquer meets Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. It's uh, it's a weird one. I don't know what these guys are doing, but these are the enemy. Yeah, obviously, Crustacean Nations implies plurality of nation states, and the evil blues are over here, and we don't like them because we're red crabs, and blue crabs suck, and that's just like, that's just the way of things. We don't need to question it. We're crabs. No one even knows if we speak languages other than crab people language. So what we need to do then is just start pumping out. Now, there are different types of crabs. Guys, are you are you going to get this the dirt? Go get the dirt. We need these guys to like kind of like be on guard, I think. But yeah, so we've got like five different types and one of the other cool things you can do is you can actually build like sandcastle walls if you wanted to. So like if we wanted to block this off, well I guess we could. It costs a decent amount of resources and the enemy I think can still get around it if you don't do it very well. Like, this is a pretty early access build. It kind of reminds me in some ways a little bit like Bot Wars, you know? It's like your first game, and Bot Wars is the game that I made, right? So it's like we wanted to show the world that we could A, make a game, and B, release it. This one is free. It's, it's pretty kind of fun. All right, we need lots of shells. And what's interesting is there's the title system. Now the water raises up. I don't know what it does at this stage of development. Oh, it says press Q. That's nice. So if I... Can I do shortcuts? Oh my god, you can. Oh, I love that. Pathfinding seems to be <laughs> a bit of an issue for my crabs. Okay. Yeah. If I tell you all to go that way, is this a problem? Probably. Oh my gosh, we're under attack. The blue forces are attacking. Gentlemen, hold the gates. Now we're going to send some guys up on the North Passage. The map design kind of reminds me of like MOBAs in a way, which is kind of fun. Uh, the enemy is building more castles. Now there's a lot of other types, right? So we've built orange crabs. We've got the light pink ones. What about the ones that look like they're holding packing peanuts? Let's put one right there. And then we've got like hermit crabs, which wear the shells. So they're pr presumably very armored, right? That, that would be my guess. Oh my, hold on, there's a giant pit. Oh, looks like there's a crab in there. And this guy's got a throne, a, a throne, a crown. Maybe we need to like send a few of our forces to block the main entrances. We don't want these guys just like waltzing into our kingdom. But yeah, pathfinding on this map uh, and for the AI is uh, a challenge, I would say. But I think we can work around it. Like I said, this game is free after all. Whoa, they just went on to attack, I guess. They're like, oh, you know what? Let's go get them. I didn't tell them to do anything. Oh, this is the hermit crab. The hermit crab is pretty big. Now this last one, I don't know what it does. He looks like he's holding a coconut. That's kind of weird. Not enough resources. Yeah, we're low on dirt. Oh, but we have plenty of dirt right here. And by dirt, I mean sand. Because, well, to build sand castles, you need both sand and castles, right? So sand must be acquired. So at this moment in time, we're just like absorbing as many of these resources as we can. This is a very strange and funny and silly game. I love it. Now, as far as, oh gosh, it looks like the enemy might be massing an attack on this hill. We don't want them to get that. Water definitely slows you down, but it doesn't hurt you. There's not like fish that'll swim around and try to eat you because you're a crab and your food to them. One of the things we do want to start doing then, I guess, is to take this island. I mean, it looks like I can build anywhere I want. Oh man, I'm just conquering this island. I mean, assuming we can hold it, we just gotta get this stupid choke point blockage done. Oh man, they're gonna, they're gonna kill me. They're killing us. They're killing our castles before they even get built. They're going after my builder. Oh, the builder's dead? And these guys are attacking my walls. It's the issue sure seems to be pathfinding right now. 
You know what? Let's go on a raid. Let's attack that base. These guys are getting a little too cheeky, and I've got plans for this, but all my builders keep getting assassinated by these three blue crabs. But as far as crabs, I don't I don't know a whole lot. Like, I know, you know, if, like, if you go to an all-you-can-eat buffet and you get, like, all-you-can-eat crab legs for $10, they're probably going to be bad. You're probably going to wake up sick. Like, I know those are bad crabs. I think if this is the cheapest one to build. All right, this is this is our new domain, this island over here. That hole, uh, I don't know, but I mean, look at it. It's got a giant crab in there. So I'm thinking if we send some crabs in, maybe like they activate it and he comes and joins our forces. Oh my God, look at how many there are over here. All right, we're gonna go over there and hold the middle ground. We're gonna send these guys on like resource duty. And we got so many, I think the, the rest of them Need to start spamming over here. These guys just like march in and fight, don't they? All right, get over there and give them something to think about. Because we don't want them sending too many men over here. Yeah, I, I don't know. You can build in the water. I feel like, you know, I, I presume that this is an early access game and there's a lot coming to it. I would like to see that you can't build in the water. And the water actually wrecks your sand castles. It, it would make sense. You build a sand castle on the beach, water comes in, it dies. All right, it's time. We got to see what's going on. We are going to... Oh, they just kind of like YOLO dive in there. I don't know if anything's happening. No, a leg popped up. Okay, the leg popped up. Oh, shoot. How many legs does a crab have? Eight legs. We've only got two up? That was like a whole division. A whole division of crabs? Oh, wait. We have a huge amount over here. All right, everybody in. Everybody in this tank. We're sending everybody we got, in the, except for those ones. They're going to hold the ground. All right, we got four, so I guess we're like halfway there. Whoa, something just wrecked. I heard a sandcastle crumble is what it was. Oh man, I think we're really, really close though. I feel like we're really close. And we get like, I don't know, a medium sized crab. Oh my God, it's huge. That is a massive crab. That is much bigger than I thought. Oh, and he put his foot down and he crushed his blue one. Okay, those things are amazing. Oh, we're still sending crabs in. Wait, but the legs are still popping up. You can get more than one of them? Wait, I don't have control over him. He's just kind of walking. Oh, he's walking? That makes sense. He's walking towards the enemy base. We need more resources. How do we get more? I don't know if we do. All right, everybody go to that and grab that dirt. <laughs> I'm setting my entire army. There was a little bit of like time it, it seemed to take my units to process what the orders were. We're also gonna send this last batch to get that. I just don't want too many. Yeah, they take, the pathfinding is it seems that they take the shortest route, no matter what happens. Like, look at this, this is, this is traffic jam. One dude's like, hey, and now <laughs> everybody stops. Oh my God, wait a minute. He's only got three legs on this side. Why is he only three? He has seven legs. He's supposed to have... Oh! They're biting the big crab's legs off. He's only got one now. Oh, look at... Oh, and he's dead. Okay, so when they eat the legs, he dies. Got it. All right, let's just, like, dump more. Dump more! More crabs. More power. Yeah, we need, we need a lot more resources. I'm just having a lot of issues with pathfinding. Oh, and these guys are crushing it. They're crushing my castles, the big boys. I guess no matter where they walk, they destroy whatever is under them. I have all these shells, and the shells kind of seem worthless, right? You definitely need more sand castle. But there's just no sand resources. But what's interesting is the sand castles do continually reproduce more and more crabs over time. So you definitely want to protect them. All right, how are we looking? Uh, we're still on eight legs. Oh, we got two of them at a time. Yes. Our forces will be indefatigable. Ooh. And we got a lot more. So what I want to do is pump out more of these things. Essentially, our strategy right now is just sacrifice little crabs to get big crab. Uh, but they keep losing their legs, man. I think we need to, like, send in an army with them. Yeah. So we'll send this group in here. And you guys over there. And then everybody else available into the pit. It's like in the old days, you know, if you lived on an island with a volcano and the crops weren't growing, you just threw people into the volcano. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, well, we've appeased the gods. Well, in this case, we have to sacrifice little crabs to get big ones. How are we doing? How are we looking? Guys, kill that. We need to kill the towers. That's what we need to do. That way, our big crab daddy is just going in there and wrecking the house. Look at this, man. We're about to get another one. 
I can sense it. I can also see based off the fact that, well, there's eight crab legs. Yes! And then there's more. But uh, the dirt, the, the sand rather, resource is a little bit hard to come by. Dang it! They took us out. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's so much. There is so much sand. Get as much of this as possible. Yeah, so I, I feel like the strategy here, based off what we're going for, is just pump out this basic crab tower as many as you can. Oh man, the pathfinding is so garbage. It's, it's terrible. It really is bad. <laughs> More, 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 more. There we go. We got another one. Oh man, they're sending in a, a, an attack. We have so many resources. I don't know where my builders are. Oh, my builders are stuck. Yeah, so crabs should be able to like crawl over each other or something. Cause this is, this sucks. <laughs> oh, we've only got like two legs on the right side. Oh look, the pathfinding, they're all down here. Everybody get up. Yeah, like, guys, what's the issue? Send in the hermit crabs. You guys. Oh my god, I have 286 sand now. I don't need any more. I really just don't. We're gonna send in the infantry with the heavy armor while recruiting more heavy armor. Now, there's no air forces. What other crabs could we get? Like, I feel like crabs, shrimps, lobsters. What other crustaceans could you get? Oh my god, this is epic. Look at this. Now the infantry are going with him. He's got all eight legs. He's right next to the base. What we want him to do is to destroy that sand castle so that we can achieve glorious, sweet victory. That is what we need. Oh, he's getting there. He's got, oh, he lost. Kill that crab. Don't let him, don't let him eat the legs. Don't let him eat the legs. He's, he's eating it. He's destroying it. Godzilla. Godzilla crab is victorious. Okay. So. Let's see what else we got. There's the sandbox mode, which looks like, can I just put down anything I want? Well, what am I fighting? I don't know. And we have different levels. Let's check them out. So do you guys want to see more crustacean nations? This map is so much bigger than the one we had. It looks like 1v1 with the castle over here. There is the sacrificial crab pit, a lot more resources and a lot more territory. You could have massive armies. Now, as far as the last level, remember this is a free to play game. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh my God. There are three enemies in this one and it is a huge map with one singular pit in the middle. Okay, well, if you guys want more Crustacean Nations, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know. It kind of plays like Empires of the Undergrowth meets Command and Conquer meets Tabs, right? It's fun, I'm enjoying it. It's free on Steam. Let me know if you want more.